when some people ask you, well, what's the longest that you've ever been awake for? And you're like, well, I've been awake for probably two days, maybe longer than that. I'll tell you right now, the longest I've ever, uh, ever been awake is 23 hours. If I go 24 hours without having to sleep, something will happen that doesn't need to happen. And I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but something bad will happen that does not need to happen. But if I go 24 hours without sleep, not good for me. The longest I can go without sleep is 23 hours, but that's cutting it a little too close. So, if I even start going to getting close to 24 hours without sleep, that's asking for problems. I'm alright going at least 12 hours, maybe less without sleep. But I have to have at least 8 hours of sleep or more because of certain things I'm not going to say. But, you know... I have to be super careful and extremely aware on how many hours of sleep I'm getting and how long I'm awake. Well, if I go to bed late, I'm going to wake up late. If I go to bed early, I'm going to wake up super early. So, you know, that's the way how it works. And you're originally supposed to get eight hours of sleep. Uh, if you get more than eight hours of sleep, that's all right. If you get less than eight hours of sleep, so seven hours and under is not normal at all. So, if... There's anything less than eight hours of sleep that is not normal. So, um, if you even have trouble falling asleep, so I'm not a doctor, so I can't speak for this, but there is a thing that if you look up what does lavender help with, it'll tell you that it helps with amnesia, which is sleep problems. So, if you have a hard time falling asleep, it would be amnesia. So, lavender helps with amnesia, it helps with anxiety, depression, it also helps with calming the room down, making it peaceful and relaxing. So, you're not supposed to originally go less than 8 hours of sleep. If you do, there's something wrong with that, but lavender does help with that, but that's getting stuff thrown off track, but yes, that does help. So, you can go probably... Well, a lot of people say that, you know, you're originally not supposed to go a whole day without sleep. Because if you go one whole entire day without sleep, that is not good at all. And I wouldn't test that at all. 